when you just get to the Uh, to, to this part, uh, I believe it's regional information, where you see all the grids or the regions that correspond to the small dots I showed in the um, uh, in the presentation. So what you can do is choosing your data set. It can be either projections, meaning all the way to 2100, or historical that's how to compare with, um, with the recent, uh, most of the time it's since 1961 until now, or purely gridded observations. So there you don't have any models, but you have actual data uh, and you can even look into paleoclimate. Uh, so we can choose CMIP6. So that's the global models that were used for the IPCC6 reports. Then we can choose what we would like to look at, the mean temperature or um, number of frost days. There's a uh, um, number of different indices that can be chosen. So we can choose mean temperature here, for instance, uh, and look at the periods, um, the near term, mid term. So let's look at how, um, warming of four degree would look like uh, compared to the pre-industrial the baselines, the pre-industrial uh, climate. So let's compare. Uh, we can either look at the absolute values or at the change compared to uh, the reference. And then as seasons, we can have the annual or we can have the um, winter or so on. And then we have all of this um, we can have a look at the um, uncertainties. Well, we, we don't need that right now. So here we have this. I can look and see how it would look, it, look like in winter. So get it here um, and it gets even warmer. Uh, because we, winter tends to warm up faster than uh, annual mean. And if I click on here, I have the, um, the, the legends and I can, I can know um, that this box has this value by looking at the, um, at the, the legends. And if I click on one particular grid, then I will get the uh, time diagram for that region. Uh, and once you've done everything, you can export your figure as a PNG or as a PDF. Uh, and and then, then, then you can do a lot of more things like specifically cho choosing which model you'd like to, to see. Uh, so the, the many other things you can do, but that's one simple way of doing it. Uh, what we can do as well, we can look at the European regional uh, results. And as you see, now we only have uh, this domain available. And then I can zoom in. So the resolution is better than the global ones, but I would still reckon that it's a bit coarse in order to make conclusions for a particular point. 